LFA 84. Today, you're going to analyze the our instructor, our Machida Karate instructor, Bruno the Tiger Souza. So, Bruno did a very good fight last Friday, and he applied the Kakizuki a lot, that you call in English hook punch. So, as our karate, Machida Karate, is designed for self defense, you train those techniques that's in the traditional karate, sometimes you're not very like come to see that technique like an only more straight punch but bruno's apply a lot of hook that they're gonna share today and also we invited bruno who properly did the technique he's gonna share with us what he feels he demonstrated the technique and we're gonna enjoy this video See right now, Bruno. Please come here. Congratulations for oh, this amazing fight. Thank you. Amazing fight. Bruno is here. He's gonna show us everything that happened in that fight. How he applied the technique. What about his feeling when he saw the guy comes or not? He's gonna share with us. Bruno, talk about a little bit. How do you feel and how do you like set up the technique that you wanna show today? Good. So like in the beginning, I was fighting with him. Let me go to this side. He's better because he's straight the right. So in the beginning, when I was fighting with him, I realized that whenever I was doing straight punches, he was looking blocking so good. So what was happening? I was like touching his arm, but no one was going through perfect. So. What I, what I realized after that, I started to go around, boom. I wanted to hit to get like behind the ear. That's why I stopped it a little bit with the straight punches and do a little bit of the hooks. Boom. The one that we're gonna talk about today is whenever he applied the hook on my face, left hook. Boom. I use the footwork to go to the side and go over the arm, okay? Again, whenever he came with the left hook, I did the tsunagi ashi and applied the counter with my right hand on his ear. So tsunagi ashi is the footwork that Bruno used during this technique. You know? the, 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 the tsunagi ashi, we call tsunagi ashi, when you pull your front leg and move backward your back leg. That's tsunagi, tsunagi ashi. Tsunagi ashi means connect. So when Bruno's applied this, he create the room when he move his front leg and connect the front leg to the back leg and his turn when the opponent comes straight but with the hook and he's able to punch over the hook punch from Kamuela. And in this situation, I was with the cage behind me. So create this angle in this, this room. I also am going away from him, avoiding his strikes. And this is very effective because, as Bruno mentioned, he was back against the cage. So, also, he couldn't go straight back. So, at the last movement, the last footwork that he did with the back leg, he created an angle, not go straight. And he created an angle, go to the side, he's not gonna be stuck against the cage. And also, Chizou, please show the movement. So when Bruno moved it to the to outside Shizo, so not to inside, because here Shizo still have another punch if Bruno moved to this side. But move it. Bruno moved to another side, the outside of Shizo. So that's making it hard to do the second punch because Bruno's different direction. If you Bruno coming to this side, as Yoro mentioned, I'm gonna be able to do easier to the second one. So congratulations Bruno for an amazing fight, it was a split decision by Bruno able to touch more, much more techniques to his opponent, so congratulations. We are very proud of Bruno, he did a very good job and he was a year without fights because of this pandemic and everything and now he could come back and did a great job. Congratulations Bruno, let's see the next fight for sure, let's go! Please guys! Put your comment below, see your opinions about this technique. Thank you so much, see you next time. Oh, Ficou sincronizadinho. <laughs>